GameStop will not be selling consoles anymore that have digital bundled games. Is that going to be good? Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, Pikio Gamer here. Trying out the my PS4 headset I usually game with. Uh, the test sounds pretty good, so tell me what it, if it sounds better. Um, I saw this online here, and uh, I saw this on one of my uh, subscribe channels, uh, Review Tech USA. GameStop is going to stop selling console bundles that have digital games in them, and you know. You know, remember the Titanfall bundle? Let me adjust this a little bit. Yeah, the Titanfall bundle. That's how I got. Um, that's how I got my uh, Xbox One with the Titanfall bundle. I waited. I actually got a PS4 first. I, I like the PS. You know, with the the Xbox One where they came out at, at E3. A lot of people, including myself, even though I was an Xbox fan mostly, I had, been, had a PS, I had a PlayStation since PS1. I went to PS4, but I waited, and the Titanfall bundle came out. It's digital. I said, I don't give a shit. <clears throat> and Titanfall was pretty good. It wasn't as good as I thought it would be. I'm not a huge, huge multiplayer fan. And oh, like I said, but my friends and I, we played it for a while, and it was nice. I got a really good, you know, hyped up, pretty good, pretty nice game. And I just scanned the code and let the damn thing download, and it was fine. Well... <laughs> As you know, there's a lot of console bundles out there. You open it up, you get the Blu-ray, the disc, or whatever it is, and you get it, you know, like the good old days of getting a, a, a cartridge or whatever it is in there. And, you know, you have the physical game. You could trade that in. That's extra. And, and GameStop now has says they're not, they're going to stop selling those. Period. Um, there's two sides of this story. And like I said, I'm pulling for what everybody else is saying, but and I see it. The first side is we know why GameStop is doing this. GameStop is doing this because if they can't sell you a, a bundle with something that you could trade back in, so they can rape you and then well, giving you two dollars for it and selling it for thirty, that's what they're pissed off for. I mean, they used to even take PC trade ins. PC gaming on GameStop is just dead. You'll see some big, big games in there. Maybe uh, some WoW. Some people, you know, they don't like to download them. They, I like to have some things. I bought like physical. I bought Diablo three. I have it on PC, and I have it on PS four. But I wanted the physical copies of it. But you, Walmart has more fucking computer games. I've seen at least in my game stops and and anything. It's it's ridiculous. But that's the way the PC games went. Consoles are a mixed bag. They're trying to push for digital, but especially here in the United States and some places, some of the places, the well, I mean the the broadband is not there. I mean, like I said, I can I can go back to my old house. Well, we, we my wife and I moved a few years ago, just about fifteen twenty minutes away. We didn't move very far. There's no Comcast. There is no high speed. I'm now in on eighty meg pipe. 75, 80 meg pipe, and in 15, 20 minutes down the road, it's nothing. So the infrastructure is not here, especially in the United States, all over the place. So digital is not the way to go all the time, but it's, it's getting there. Whether a lot of people can get on board with it or not, and I see, you know, I see GameStops, they're, they're, the way they're doing it, they're just worried that they can't... Um, they can't make money off of us, you know. They can't make money off us with um, getting those games and training them back in and ripping us a new one. But I do agree with them a little bit because I think they're seeing, you know, if I buy a bundle, console, game, extra controller, whatever, I don't want something to be digital. I really don't. A lot of the times, and. Um, I don't know. I, a lot of times, I, it would say, you know, it would even show on the packages. It wouldn't even really say some of like some of the newer ones. I guess got a message. Sorry, I got a tweet 
for Retro VGS Club. We're talking about the Retro VGS uh, campaign, which is starting tomorrow. Um, sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad, especially when you buy a brand new console. Now, I know I bought the one with the Titanfall uh, Xbox One, but, you know, let me pull up... Uh, Amazon here, and I was looking, you know, I've, I've not got a Wii U. I thought about finding one to use through Craigslist for a couple hundred bucks to play it until the NX comes out. I mean, Mario Maker, fuck, you know, damn you, Nintendo, you actually make me want to play it. And, you know, there's some cool stuff, the Zelda coming out, but um, there it is. Wii U Deluxe Set with Super Mario 3D World Nintendo Land Bundle. Okay. Let me see down through here. Where's it at? Okay, product description. This bundle comes with two pre-installed games, Super Mario 3D World Digital Copy, Nintendo Land Game Digital Copy. Okay, the fucking box shows, now of course it's probably on the on the front of the back, and of course you want to, okay, it does say Deluxe Digital Promotion, Limited Time. Okay, never mind, that has a Deluxe Digital Promotion, but sometimes some people will, it, out in the stores, if normal consumers, they'll look at it and think, hey, it's going to include the physical copies. You know, sometimes with, you know, you have a special bundle. Like, what I'm trying to get at is a special bundle like this. You know, that I didn't, I didn't see all that on the cover. It's, I'm, I, I do like the physical stuff. I really do. And sometimes you'll get something and, Unless you read the fine print, you open something up. Oh, this is digital, and I don't like that. That that, that right there showed. I didn't see the you know see the other upper corner there. I didn't see it was a digital promotion. But there's a lot of them that have you know the Mario Maker um, uh, bundle is not digital. I don't think. But you know, I I don't know about this. They they have a kind of a stance. That I kind of agree with them. <laughs> God forbid, I agree with. Uh, GameStop a little bit. I think it would be nice, especially for consoles, to, oh, I don't know, when you bundle shit together, don't just throw in a digital code and immediately ask somebody to to take up hard drive space. And then again, at the same time, you know, I know what they're doing it for. Uh, what they're doing is saving their own ass. They want to make more money. So, yeah, I mean, I don't... I'm kind of on the on the block on 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 the fence right now. I don't know if this is a good thing because I don't want digital only. I don't. I don't want all this. I would like to have the the. I'd like to have a little bit of both, and I don't know what everybody else thinks about this. But as I, you know, I'm looking up consoles there, getting a little distracted. I don't. I know what GameStop is doing this because they don't they want to make more money off of us, but sometimes when you buy something, you won't go out and buy something physical too many times they're putting in digital codes and I would like to see them, you know, stop. This is a I'm an old school gamer. You're you're watching Picky Old Gamer. If you're watching me, you know what my channel is about. I kinda of tired of them. I I'm getting Fallout 4 digitally simply because uh it fell on my lap a lot of Microsoft uh, digital card money. And I'm going to end up paying out of pocket 10 bucks. So I'm getting Fallout 4 digital, but then at a pre-buy, it's going to get me Fallout 3 digital code. So if, if that's okay, and, I, and I'll probably leave that there on that hard drive till that console breaks. I love Fallout. I love Fallout 3, but I go and buy physical copies because I like them. And though it's GameStop, they're doing it because they want more, they want us to trade in this shit and get more money out of us. I think they have a they have a good stance. Will they stop it? Stop digital? No, probably not. But is it? Do you think it? Do you guys think it's better? Do you think it's better to when you buy a console bundle that <clears throat> it should be just you know a real game? It says we when we're bundling in a game for you, but you need the internet. You know, now now Nintendo's cool. They digitally. Preload them. That's cool. You just boot it up and it's there. But a lot of the big ones, PS4 or Microsoft, you're going to have to download the damn things. And that's 20, 30, 40, 50 gigs. And some people that don't have it, they get home and go, well, I bundled this game. What happens? Oh, it's internet. You know. And maybe I'm just, I'm just grabbing straws here, but 
I don't know how I feel about this. I want to know what you think. This is interesting news. Um, I don't know. I, I, I think they're they're doing it. They're doing it for their alternative shitty motives because GameStop wants to fuck us all without even buying us dinner, assholes. But to be honest, but you know, is this stance something that you want to see because you want physical games? Do you want to buy a bundle and have everything in it? Let let me know. You know, comment below, rate, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Pick Your Gamer. I appreciate. Thank you, everybody. That is, you know, I've got over forty people following me on YouTube, and you're looking at this ugly mug all the time. Um, the Retro VGS Club podcast. We're going to be doing another one probably. I was going to do one tonight. We'll probably do it tomorrow at RetroVGSClub.com. Um, I've, um, I've worked, started working with Chris from that side. He's an awesome guy. Uh, we're starting to really move forward with this. A lot of people getting attention. RetroVGS uh, console is about to go on Indiegogo. And that's, a, that's something else we're going to talk about. So I uh, appreciate you for listening. Let me know what you think. You, you, agree, with, you, you agree with this from GameStop? What do, you, what do, you, do you agree with digital bundles? Just let me know. This is Picky Gamer. Out.